So for summer 2020, we've added a brand new product to the ever-growing Nash Terminal Tackle range. And that product is called the Shrinker. So what is the Shrinker? It's a neat little tool that fits inside your tackle box and eliminates the need to take a kettle and water when going fishing just to steam your rigs. We've all been in the situation where you'll get to the lake, you'll cast your rods out, maybe with a couple of fresh rigs you've tied the night before, a couple of hours in, you'll get a take and you need to tie a new rig. And then there's nothing worse than trying to get the rod back out as quickly as possible, just rummaging around in your bag, trying to find your kettle, or maybe you've left your water in the van, just to put your stove on and shrink your tubing over your rig. But this handy little tool eliminates the need for that. And I'll run you through how to use it right now. Step one. Take your hook and hair and generously wet the entire hook and first three inches of your hook link. After wetting, slide your shrink tube over the hook and not whip in. Step two, feed the tag end of your hook link down through the brass tube and out the bottom of the shrinker until the bend of the hook is flush to the end of the brass tube. Step three, Secure the hook link against slippage by pulling it into the rubber line pinch on the base of the handle. Step four, place the flame of a jet lighter under the brass tube where the shrink tube is located so the tip of the flame is touching the tube. After 10 seconds of heating, remove the flame from the tube. Step five, remove the link from the rubber line pinch in the handle you have around 10 seconds to angle the shrink tube to the position you prefer before it cools and sets. Things to remember, the shrinker is designed for use with Dyneema braids and coated hook link materials only. Please do not use with nylon or fluorocarbon hook links. The shrinker can be used to shrink tube over knots, sleeve in gyro and Ronnie swivels for neatness or to trap hair braid in position beneath the shrink tube.